Okay, continuing on from the previous tutorial, uh, right now it, the fire is spawning in a fixed position just in the center of the grid. What happens if we want to give it like a circular ring to it and have it spawn from within the circular ring or around the edges of the ring? What you can do is, is right click and go to location and cylinder. And right now you'll see they're just spawning ar around from the cylinder, but we don't see it. Select the cylinder node, scroll down to where it says draw 3D mode question mark, and click the checkbox, and now you can see the cylinder. And the radius is going to go to 30, and I think the height we're going to go to 20, 30. And right now the it's spawning, but it doesn't really look like fire anymore because we've increased the radius of the way they're spawning. So we need to increase the the spawn. So right now we're on 30, so we'll go to 50. And we should increase the velocity a little bit. So right now we'll open those up. And right now they're set to... 120, so I think we'll bump it up to minimum of 80. Get a little more fiery, maybe even 100. There you go, a little bit more fiery looking. Alright, so now we're going to make some embers to, I think they're called embers, uh, to, <laughs> to go up. So, what you can do is actually, is you can select the material, so we'll do a glow mat, for example and right click new particle system and you'll see if you turn off the fire they actually it brings it in already with the material attached which is actually kinda handy um, right so right now they're just little dots and we want them to be much thinner so what we can do is go to required right now screen alignment we can set it to velocity since velocity is going on the z-axis we can then go to initial size and on the x-axis we'll make this 5 and on the y-axis we'll make this let's say 10 and same for the other one we'll do 5 10 and you see you got these nice little smaller you could also make these longer if you want so we can go up to 10 as well between 10 and 5. Uh, we'll go down instead. There we go. Okay, now, right now it's spawning from a point. We want to spawn from the cylinder, same kind of size area that the fire spawns from. What you can do is you can click the cylinder on the other side, hold down the Alt key, click and drag, and it'll make a duplicate of it. Now the the embers are now spawning from the cylinder, but the cylinder is going to be the same size, so we want to make it a little smaller, so I'll make it like 25, so at least we can see it better. Go to Color of Real Life, select the graph, and we're going to turn off the alpha, and turn off the blue and the, gr blue and the green. We have the red selected, select the dot on the one, hold down control and move it up, and we're going to make him a red, nice red color. Make it go to 11. If you also, if you want to, you can right click and you can do set uh, value and you can do 11 like that too. And go to the lifetime and say we'll do a minimum of 1, maximum of like 2 maybe. So they, uh, maybe a little less, maybe, maybe 2.5. So we have a randomization going on. Some make it up, some do, do not. Uh, just turn on the green. Get that one up too. And we turn on the fire again. Now the fire is kind of overpowering our embers. So let's go to spawn. Maybe make it 45. Now, if we want to make it random, under here where it says 
you can do float which is what we have right now float is just the one number you could do uniform and we can specify say we want a minimum of uh, 40 and a maximum of 50 that way you can keep it varied so we added some embers and in the next tutorial we're gonna add some smoke <laughs>